A tragedy inside a hermitage home Monday, the hallmark of a scary trend happening nationwide. Police say a man shot and killed his daughter-in-law before turning that gun on himself. News Force Rebecca Cardenas live at the Hermitage Police Precinct. Rebecca, it seems like murder suicides are going up everywhere. They are, Tom, and this disturbing trend is something that is on the rise all over the country. This specific incident, this murder-suicide, the first one in Davidson County this year inside that Hermitage home, we looked into the numbers in this disturbing trend. And that feeds in. In this building, January is a fresh slate. The start of every new year is a hopeful time. Uh, maybe this will be the year where we have no domestic violence homicides in our community. But just shy of two weeks into the new year, news Diane Lance dreads. Monday night, police say 80 year old Wayne Wilson shot and killed his 51 year old daughter in law, Catherine Wilson, before turning the gun on himself in their hermitage home. It certainly is um, disheartening. Um, when the first one does happen. Between 2017 and 2019, the number of murder suicides in Davidson County dropped. But if you look at the numbers from 2012 to 2016, the spike in recent years is significant. A trend upwards. It used to be in Nashville, we saw zero to one murder, domestic violence murder suicides a year. And now we're seeing multiple. We're seeing that trend across the state, and I'm hearing that that is a national trend. While she cannot say why this is a trend, Lance says threats of suicide should always be taken seriously. And if there's a history of domestic violence there, she says that changes everything. Anyone who is in a home with a domestic violence abuser and that person is threatening suicide, that person has a lot less to lose to kill you as well. So be very, very careful. Now, this is important. If you are someone that you know are struggling with suicidal thoughts, the number to call is on your screen right now. We will also include links for resources for domestic violence victims on our News 4 app. Tom, Tracy. Rebecca, thank you very much for that. Right now, Catherine Wilson's son has set up a GoFundMe for his mother's funeral expenses. The family says they don't have money for a proper funeral. We do have a link to this page on WSMV.com.